everybody so today we're going to be making a DIY air freshener we're going to be using um, essential oils and you'll need lavender peppermint and eucalyptus essential oils you will also need some baking soda you'll only need one teaspoon of it but you still need the baking soda a spray bottle and that one can be any size you want a water a bowl and something to mix in like maybe like a fork or a spoon so if you want to learn how to make a air freshener stick around we're going to start by measuring out one teaspoon of baking soda so grab a bowl and your teaspoon and measure out one teaspoon of baking soda It might be easier to just pour it into your hand and then scoop out the teaspoon like that instead of... Oh, well, there we go. So one teaspoon of baking soda and then we're going to take... So we're going to make the spring air freshener. That one requires eight drops of lavender essential oil. So take your lavender essential oil. and drop eight drops in there that's three four and then you'll need six drops of peppermint essential oil one two three four five six five drops of eucalyptus essential oil one two three four five and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your fork and you're going to press that well into your baking soda so that it can blend in with the baking soda and the essential oils will blend in well into your air freshener. mix it well and this helps um, incorporate it into the water much better so then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pour this into your spray bottle so gather it up I'm gonna take this teaspoon and pour it that way so I don't make a mess and this smells very minty from what I can smell so far so go ahead and pour all your baking soda and essential oil mixture into your little spray bottle make sure to gather all of it up And um, you can make as much as you want with this. It depends how um, big your spray bottle is. So we have a tiny spray bottle. So it's not going to make that much. You would have to keep making the mixture to keep your air freshener lasting a long time. Alright, so now that I have my mixture in the little spray bottle, I'm going to go and fill this up with water and then we're going to shake it up. 
I went ahead and filled this up with water. Um, the recipe is actually for a four ounce bottle minus two ounce, but it's okay. That means our, um, our air freshener will be super strong. So as you can see, there's still some baking soda at the bottom because I haven't gone ahead and shaked it. So you're just going to fill up your bottle and you're going to shake it until everything is well incorporated. And then once it looks like this cloudy white color, uh, you can go ahead and spray it into your room or on your pillows or anywhere that you want, maybe in your car. So, and it smells very minty and spring-like with the lavender in there. Um, it's optional to create a label. I'm going to go ahead and create a label. So I'll show you guys how to do that in a minute. What you'll do is you'll get two pieces of paper, one decorative piece, and cut it to the size of down to fit your bottle. And then a smaller one just to frame the outside. That one you want it to be plain. And then right here in this piece, you're going to write your name. So I'm going to name my air freshener Pollen. So I'm going to go ahead and write the pollen. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take some wide clear tape. And you're going to cut it to size. Make sure that your label is well aligned and then go ahead and place your tape over it and then here I'm going to cut off the extra tape because we don't want extra tape on our spray bottle and then this will just be trash. Put it down on all the sides to your liking. I'm just leaving a small little border so that you can still tape it onto your bottle. And then you're just going to go ahead and tape that onto your bottle. And press on the tape so that it's well put on there and shake it up each time you use just shake it up and here's your DIY air freshener and this is good because the regular air fresheners have a lot of toxins in them and this is more environmentally friendly and you can create it as many times as you want at home or play around with the scents and make different scents have fun making your DIY air fresheners and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to clean up and bye!